the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. This is Akin AK Jack is the Truth. I'm here with the juggernaut, Joe Joyce, at the O2 for the Eubank the Gale press conference. How are you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. Brilliant. Um, we were at the press conference and your manager, Sam, seemed to get things kicking. <laughs> We've never seen Pumates Devern um, react in that particular type of way, but he really seemed to be emotional about some comments that were made about sparring. What do you read into that, into his mannerism? Yeah, he don't like Sam, does he? <laughs> I, I think, yeah, he probably touched a nerve there and he seems fired up and ready to go for him. I had to, had to step in a bit. Maybe the comments online say otherwise, but... Yeah, it's, it's funny, man. He's get he proper was he probably wasn't happy, was he? What do you think that puts him in a, in a headspace with regards to your fight? Do you think that um, means he's nervous, or do you think he's is a professional? He will still concentrate on the task at hand. I think, yeah, I think he's obviously very experienced. He's had what twenty nine fights or whatever, and but um, yeah, I think Sam got to him a bit, and you know, got him heated, so. We'll see uh, see what he's going to be like on Saturday night. I think it's he's he seems to have trained hard for this and was training already, so he's going to be in good shape. So it's going to be a really good fight and a you know tough test for me. Okay, I know you're pressed for time, so I'll, I'll go straight to this question. Everybody seems to be avoiding uh, a Lewis Ortiz. I spoke to um, Richard Schaefer, and he said that I, I know that you are one of the only notable names that has called him out recently, and you're both with PBC. I'm not looking past Bermain, etc. But how keen are you, for, are you for that fight to happen? Yeah, um, like towards the end of the year, it'd be good to, to fight him, see how... Uh, Who's he fighting? Christian Hammer next. Um, so that was already that was already a, a done deal. And so, uh, you know, I'm gonna have a couple of fights and then uh, probably take him on, uh, probably later later this year. Do, 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 why do you think he's been so avoided? Or is that a myth, really? Well, come on, he's uh, come on now. He's King Kong. You know, beats his chest and that. And uh, you know, he's a very skillful bo uh, Cuban southpaw. And uh, you know, nearly took out. Took out, nearly took out Wilder. I mean, had he been younger, he probably would have, you know, had the endurance and the, and the gas tank to keep going. But I think he ran out of gas and then got caught with a big shot. But you know, he's a he's still a dangerous opponent, even though he's uh, pushing sixty. <laughs> <laughs> um, final question: Do you consider yourself a pioneer in the sport? When when you came on the scene, um, the British scene was 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 really booming. And you decided to pack up and go to America. At the time, all his fans thought, what, what, what is he doing? Why is he going to America? But now, Anthony Joshua's fighting in America. Um, Tyson Fury has is, is just signed this huge deal with ESPN. Um, um, Dillian White has let him know that he's a free agent. He can talk to anyone. Do you feel like you have set the blueprint for other heavyweights to follow? Yeah, I like that pioneer. I'm leading the way. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah I guess yeah, he's, he's, they're copying me. <laughs> How... Yeah, yeah, carry on, carry on. I just want to say, how, how, how do you find the difference in fighting in America versus fighting in England? Um, I think the, um, I think the crowd's better in England because uh, obviously the the fans get like have got better chance than uh, USA, USA. So, um, but yeah, uh, you know, I seem to be getting a lot of support from the U from uh, the US fans, and you know, I think they're very supportive, and they, you know, they like my style. I'm a kung forward, exciting fighter. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Whether you like it better over there or over here. Oh, I like boxing at the, um, at the Staples Center on the Fury Wilder undercard. That, you know, we had a lot of support from back home. And, you know, it's a similar kind of setup and arena to the O2. And, you know, the place gets, like, packed out there. So, um, but, you know, it's really, really great to be back home on... UK turf and boxing in in, in front of uh, you know it's going to be packed for on the um, being uh, chief support so yeah I'm just getting closer and closer to you know headlining a big card. Well, we're, we're really happy to have you back in in London. I see you're being tugged left, right, and centre. <laughs> um, all the best on Saturday. Um, we we can't wait to see where your journey goes from here on out. Okay, thanks. Nice to, nice to talk to you. Appreciate your time.
Yo, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash the Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.